In this video, I am going to discuss about data cleaning. After entering the data into SPSS, you cannot directly perform different statistical analysis and interpret the result. Before that, you have to clean the data. You have to do data screening. Because it might be possible that the data you have collected or entered into SPSS has some missing values, out of the range values, incorrect or irrelevant duplicated values. So if we don't remove these anomalies, it might distort the result. So therefore, before performing any statistical analysis, we have to first clean the data. So the primarily, data cleaning is the process of preparing data for analysis by removing or modifying data that is incorrect, missing, irrelevant, duplicated, or improperly formatted. So why it is important to clean the data? Actually, this is very helpful when it comes to analyzing the data. It may hinder the process or it may provide inaccurate, biased results. So let's see, what are the different steps of data cleaning? Here, we are going to discuss three main steps. Missing value analysis, out of the range values, detecting and removing outliers. So in this video, I'm going to cover missing value analysis and out of the range values for, uh, for understanding outliers and the detection and removal of outliers. You have to watch my upcoming video. There I briefly discussed outlier and the procedure of detecting and removing outlier from the data set. So let's start the process of data cleaning by doing missing value in a file I'm going to use. As you can see, there are some variables and if I can go to the data view tab, you can see different the data, the data of the variables. So first of all, I have to see whether uh, my data set has some missing values. If it has some, so I'm going to replace it, right? So how we can perform the missing value analysis? First of all, I have to identify that which variable has missing values. So for that, I have to go to Analyze, Descriptives, and this Frequency, right? So this is the pathway, Analyze, Descriptive, Statistics, and Frequency. So here, uh, there are two boxes, the one this box is filled with some, uh, there is a list here, and then the another box is empty. So I'm going to use, because I have to see uh, the missing values, I have to identify the missing values from the entire data set, so I'm going to use all the variables here, and I'm going to move it into another box. So I'm ready to go, press OK. So as you can see, the first table, statistics, here you can see valid and missing. So I have 474, the total sample size is 474. So if you want to analyze, is there any missing value? You can analyze it by doing this frequency test and by seeing this, by reviewing this first table, statistics, you can identify missing values from respective variables. So as I have different variables here, so as you can see, uh, the first vari variable, date of birth, so the valid responses are 473 and one response is missing. In the second variable, I have 472 valid responses and two are missing. And so in one, two, three, four, five. So I have missing values in five variables. So this is the procedure of identifying missing values. So now I am going to, I have analyzed variables. So now I'm going to replace those missing cells with some numbers. So in order to perform replace missing value analysis, you can go to the option transform 
as you can see the second last option replace missing values you can go to this option now here you have to just move those variable into the new variable box which has missing values so I have missing value in date of birth I'm going to so one by one I'm going to replace missing values I'm going to generate new series so here I'm going to use uh, there are multiple methods I'm going to use series mean and by by just doing by calculating the mean of the series they the SPSS will fill the empty cell so it is by default selected what I did I have just selected the missing value I have just selected the missing value series and move it into the another box and press OK. So you have to go to the variable view tab. Here you can see birth date, a new variable has been generated. So I have to go to data view. The new variable has been generated. So now the new series has been generated and I hope there is no missing values in it. So let me check by performing frequency analysis I will go to analyze descriptives frequency so I'm going to reset it so now I'm going to use this new generated birth date series so I have to see whether the new generated series has some missing values or not so I'm going to move this particular variable into another box and press ok so now you can see the first statistic, uh, statistics table you can see uh, valid responses are 474 and there is no missing values so it has been replaced so one by one I'm going to use all the variables which has missing values and by detecting after detecting uh, identifying the variables I'm going to replace it by following the same procedure now the second step of data cleaning is out of the range value so first of all we have to detect whether the data set has some out of the range values or not out of the range value can also be uh, we can also call it a data entry error typo for example if you have to enter one uh, you can like mistakenly you have entered 11 so these type of errors no usually known as out of the range values so let's see how we can detect out of the range values the procedure of detecting out of the range value is same uh, like we have to go again we have to go to analyze descriptive statistics and frequency I'm going to reset reset it and then I'm going to use all the variables except this this is a new generated series so I'm not going to use this variable now move it into another box and go to the option of statistics now there is um, at the bottom of the window you can see minimum and maximum so you can check minimum and maximum so by clicking these two options you'll get to know that what are the minimum and maximum values of the series continue and now you are ready to go press ok so again you have to review the first table uh, statistics so here we don't have to see missing values we have already done this analysis you have to see the minimum and maximum value so here date of birth it is already date so we don't need it uh, we don't need to see these dates um, in the second variable these are 1 and 22 but here I have assigned I, uh, I have not assigned 22 so there must be some problem let's see what is the problem so in my second variable uh, which is education so this is the question are you graduate so I have to see how what uh, how many variables how many uh, values I have assigned for the op for the different responses so let's see so there are only two options one yes for one and no for two so there is no 22 uh, value I have defined here so it means 22 is an error or we can say it it is of the range value so for that I have to for the removal of the out of the range value I have to go to the data view tab let's go to the 
second series, second variable and here I can see 22. So this is an error. I have to remove this error and I'm going to correct the error by just writing 2. So now the error has been rectified. Similarly, you have to follow the similar procedures. Uh, the same procedure for missing value analysis. First of all, you have to identify the missing values from the series and then you have to uh, replace it by doing some by applying some different methods and secondly you, you can also identify different out of the range values and once you have identified you have to uh, correct the out of out of the range values thank you